Hi everyone, my name is Pamela Ibarra. And my name is Luis Lagos. Welcome back to our daily program where we talk about the different United Nations Sustainable Development Goals for the year 2030 in our country, Mexico. Today, we will talk about SDG number one, poverty. You may wonder why SDG number one. Well, we as teenagers witness in our daily basis with our bare eyes the way poverty is present in every aspect, situation, and even every person in Mexico. That is why we felt the urge to investigate truly this topic. We decided to interview three different kinds of people to make an effective investigation, reaching information and awareness about this situation in our country. Our first interview was with Mr. Hernando Castablanco, that he's a witness of a change of social class because he was born in a pure society and a pure part of his society, but now he's part of the rich part of the country. Uh, our second interviewee was Manuel Ibarra, who is a uh, Nayarit's ex-legislative power deputy. And we thought that with this point of view of a person that was part of the government was essential for our investigation. And finally, but not least, our third interview was with Jose Guadalupe Pinto, which is one of many witnesses of extreme poverty throughout his life. Yes, so we thought the most important points we wanted to cover were the general opinion about the existence of poverty in the country. If the country has enough opportunities to the Mexican citizens, the opinions about the government's involvement with the situation of poverty, and finally, the ideal ideas they consider to solve this social problem. Our questions were developed thanks to our research question, which is our thesis statement. How does the lack of appropriate work opportunities bring people into poverty? What has been done by government to prevent this from happening? And what is a possible solution to eradicate this problem? But let's get started with the analysis of the interviews. First of all, our interviewees agreed that poverty is a real problem that is present in our national society. Talking about working opportunities with the interviewees, the division of opinions started to show up. Mr. Casablanca said that the working opportunities exist, but the real problem is the lack of courage that people has nowadays. For him, the key of success is the courage to work hard and achieve everything you want. Mr. Ibarra's point of view was that Mexico is divided by two major social classes, which are the working class and the highest faces in companies, businesses or enterprises, concluding that the working class isn't being recognized with the value they really have. And finally, Mr. Pinto, who basically said that opportunities are none in this country thanks to the lack of virtue. The reason for the great amount of poverty in Mexico were also pretty different in every person's opinions. As Mr. Castelblanco said, people in Mexico don't know how to manage their money in terms of investments, savings, or production. He thought the same way about corruption, just as Mr. Ibarra said. Corruption in the Mexican system is affecting the economy of every Mexican family and creates this national crisis. Mr. Pinto was so focused in the way beauty and inclusion of culture affected in the life since you're little and can affect until your elder years. We asked their opinion about the government's involvement in the situation. The three of them had similar thoughts. Mr. Castelblanco thought that the government is trying to help, but not in an efficient or correct way, because there are many factors that slow down this process, just like corruption, lack of education, and wrong planning of the programs that they are looking forward to eradicate of poverty. Mr. Ibarra was focused on the way the first year of Morena's government was affecting in a positive way in the economy of people in ranches and mountain ranges. In contrast, Mr. Pinto said that the government does not care about the poor people because of individualism in the government's employees. Finally, Mr. Castelblanco's solution to poverty in our country was to increase and improve 
government programs and investing in education for Mexicans to have the tools to success. Mr. Ibarra said that this solution to poverty was to end with impunity and corruption because of the wrong distribution of wealth in our country. And finally, Mr. Pinto just said that opportunities should be given to everyone, but he never specified how. With the analysis made, we were able to complete our goal of having different perspectives, because in the end, we broadened our horizons and got inspired to make a change for every person in Mexico. Based on our analysis, Mexico requires a whole lot of time for SDG number one, poverty, to be eradicated. But we as a country are looking forward to end this and to move on as a united and caring state. We perceived that the perspectives of each interview were pretty similar, leaving us with the idea that Mexicans think alike about the conditions of our country. These testimonies are a complete source of knowledge about the situation Mexico is facing, so that is why it is important to pay attention and be inclusive with everyone. It is the opportunity and responsibility for these and next generations to make a change and start thinking equal when they look at someone that has less as when looking at someone that has more. For, for you, you and, and for, for all. all. Thank you for your attention. Please stay tuned for next podcast. Please have a nice day.